Congratulations! You have finally completed your game and now you want to implement ads in it. If you want to implement ad mob then I will leave a link to that video in the iCard and in the description below. With that said let's jump into the video. The implementation part is fairly simple and all the codes are provided in Unity Ads Integration Manual. So we just need to copy paste them in the right way. At the end of this video you will learn to implement interstitial, rewarded and banner ads. I don't recommend doing banner ads in 2021 which will ruin the experience of your game and I don't judge who integrate them. It's your game, it's your choice. Alright, I have an empty project opened in Unity. The first thing we should do is switch to appropriate platform, Android or iOS. I am switching to Android here since I am using an Android device. For that go to file, build settings, then select Android and click switch platform. This will take some time to complete. After completion go to window, general and click on services or you can press control button and zero. Now a services window will pop up next to your inspector. In the services window click on ads. Here we are going to create a project id for our project. For that select the organization and click on create project id. You will be asked if the app is primarily targeted to children under 13. Select your preference and click on save. Now turn on Unity ads. After loading you can see a button for installing the latest version of ads package. Install that and now you can start using these game IDs. Close this window and create a CSHA script and open it in Visual Studio. We are using different scripts for different ad types. You can choose which ad you want and implement that ad only. At first we need to initialize the SDK. For that go to Unity Ads Integration Manual and scroll down and copy paste the code under Initialize SDK section. Paste it in the new script file we created. Don't forget to change the class name to script file name. Save that and get back to Unity. Make a game object and attach the script to it. On the inspector window you can see slots for Android and iOS game IDs. To add game IDs go to services, ads and copy the android game ID. Paste it in the inspector and click play. If the console says unity adds initialization complete then everything is correctly done. Ok now we need to add add units to the project. To do that we need to create add units in the unity dashboard first. For that click on the dashboard button on the services tab. It will open the Unity dashboard of your project. Make sure you are on the right project. Go to Explore Services, Monetization and click on Monetize. Click on Add Units. Here I am not using mediation. As you can see Unity already added some add units for us. We use these add unit IDs to show ads in our game. Alright, it's time for some coding. First we are gonna implement an interstitial ad. For that I have set up some colorful background and some buttons which I believe I can use these images to convince you that this channel is worth subscribing. If you are not subscribing press the like button which helps out the channel a lot. Alright create a C sharp script and open it in Visual Studio. Scroll down in the Unity manual and copy paste the code under interstitial ad. Don't forget to rename the class name to the file name. Ok now we need to add a little bit of code. Make a start function and call load add method in it. That's it. Save everything and get back to Unity. Attach this script to the game object and there you can see slots for add unit IDs. Go to Unity dashboard and copy the interstitial android add ID and paste it in the inspector. Drag the game object to one of the button and assign the show add function to the button. Now hit play. As you can see when I press the button there's a skippable test ad is shown. Make sure your PC have an active internet connection. Ok we have successfully integrated interstitial ad. Next is rewarded ad. Its implementation is also very simple. All you have to do is copy paste the code and make little changes here and there and that's it. So to do that make a C script called rewarded ad and open it in Visual Studio. 
then go to unity manual and copy paste the code under rewarded ad section and change the class name same as the script file name. We need to make some changes to this script also. First create a start function and call load add method. Next come in all the code which make the button interactable or non-interactable. One in awake method, one in unity adds loaded method and one in show add method. Save everything, get back to unity and add the script to the game object. There will be a slot for a rewarded add button. Drag the button in the slot. Copy the rewarded add id from the unity dashboard and paste it in the inspector. Now select the button and drag our game object. Select show add method inside rewarded add script. Now hit play. Cool, everything works fine. Last but not least, banner ads. Make a C sharp script and copy paste the code from unity manual. Change the class name to the script file name and comment these lines in the start function. It's for showing the working of banner ads. Your game will have your own model of showing ads, so change codes according to that. Next, call load banner in start function and show banner in on banner loaded function. Also comment these lines. Now save everything and attach this script to the game object. Copy the banner ID from the unity dashboard and paste it in the inspector. You can choose where your ad should be shown in the game by choosing the banner position. Alright, now hit play. There you go, there's your banner ad, interstitial ad and rewarded ad. But there's a problem, interstitial and rewarded ads are showing only once. Why? It's because you are not loading the ad after it's shown for the first time. To load ad again after the ad is shown, call load ad function inside the show ad method in interstitial and rewarded ad scripts. Cool, you can customize the code as you need. And make sure you are placing the ads in a way that it doesn't annoy the player and it doesn't lower your revenue. I recommend using rewarded ads and give some rewards to the player as soon as the player watches the full ad. And don't forget to disable the test mode right before you upload to the store. That's it, there's your Unity ads implementation. You can always download this project by supporting me on Patreon. And I have created a discord server so if you want to join then I will leave a link to that in the description below. As always like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video.